Hello and welcome to another video of Learn SQL. And in today's video, we are going to learn function. So those of you who have not watched the last video, please watch the last video on procedure. This is uh, in this video we are learning functions and procedures are very similar to this one. We are going to also learn the difference between the two. So it's really important that you learn procedures before you are watching this video. So a SQL Server function is a piece of code that performs a specific task and returns a value. So basically you will give a task, a set of statements you will give that should return a value. Now a value could be a scalar value or could be a table value that depends what we want to return. Function can be used to simplify the complex query and reduce the code duplication. Again, the objective here is just like procedure. There is a repetitive task where which can return a single value and that value we can do. Now there could be a complex calculation like simply we do sum in max. There is something for which that let's say function is not available. Let's say date diff. There is no function available. I want to pass two dates and want to find out the difference and that is not available. Or let's say for work day, there is no function available for work day. There is no function available. I can do that task inside my function and that function can return number of work days between two dates. So these are the things for which we need function. So basically there are set of complex operation which we wanted to do, which is going to give us some result. Now these results has to be returned. Now result return result could be a very specific like a scalar function. First function type is scalar function. A scalar function returns a single value based on the input parameters. It can be used in select where and other clauses. Here is an example. So let's see, look at an example. How do we are going to create it? Create function, string length, str, where care we can take 100, returns int, begin with returns at the rate str at the end. Okay, so para data type we do and this one. Okay, and we can call it like this is going to return the length. So hello world, whatever is the length is going to return it. And we can, it's not that we can do it. We can do a sum operation and can return it based on the filter. We can return the number. Or even if you don't pass the parameter in that case also you can return certain things. Okay. Now table value functions, table value functions returns a table written as its return set. It can be used in join from other clauses. Here is an example. Now it can return a table. So create get customers. We, we are passing a city filter. It returns a table and it can you can say select star from customer where city is equal to this. This is what we are returning actually. And you can call it say select get customers and then you can pass the parameters which you need. Okay. So this is how you create functions. Okay. Now, what is the difference between procedure and function? We have learned procedure in the last uh, uh, video or so what is the difference? So basically the difference is return value. The function always returns a value while, while per procedure may or may not return a value. Parameters. Both procedure and function can take parameters function must return a value on the input parameters whereas procedure can use to input parameters for other task. Okay. Now use in queries function can be used in select statement while procedure cannot be used. Transaction handling function cannot be modified by database state while procedure can modify the database state and perform transaction handling function. So transaction if you want to handle you have to go with the Procedures, you can't go with the functions. So let's go ahead and try to create some simple example of functions. Learn where they can work. Sometime we might face error, they might not work. So let's see, try to see all of these. So I've already started SQL Server Express Edition, which we have installed in the first uh, video. I have also uh, opened SQL Server Management Studio. Again, we have installed in the, uh, this in, uh, to our first video. And now I am opening, I opened the databases and in this one, I'm going to say run new query. So now let's write down a simple function. Let's start with, you know, the function, let's say string length or something like that. So what we have to do is create function let's call it test or dbo.test.length or test length. Then we have to start parenthesis and input argument. So what argument we want to give? We want to give an argument, let's say, uh, string which is where care so what we are going to give is basically uh, let's say at the rate input as where care 50 returns int begin in the begin, we can write down return. 
if you have a code we can use variables but if you don't have that then we can directly write down return statement return len it should return what length of at the rate input put a semicolon here we'll see the syntax error it's giving we'll see r okay so we are saying create function the function name at the rate input as var care here one parenthesis is missing returns int so whenever it is giving error just check out what is what's, what's wrong here int begin returns length of the input okay that's a simple function we are creating it got completed now let's try out this so we should say select dbo uh, we have to write down schema name let's say dbo you can create your own schema if required now let's give a testing code okay single quotes we have to give so in databases we use single quotes in power query we are also learning power query on the channel you know we do double quotes so 12 okay 3 3 6 7 8 and 4 12 okay very good now we create a function can i use some select statement now we have seen one table example but i don't know whether than can i written the sum of quantity and i am just wanted to written sum of quantity here but later on i maybe i wanted to give something else isn't it so maybe input in this time and it can have a different name let's say i want to uh, written the quantity for item id 1 or let's say city id 1 so item int I want to return. Uh, okay, so I say test qty. Fine. So I wanted to return create function test qty item int item as int. Let's say and let's put a semicolon here so that it realizes that we are in another statement. Okay. Then returns int. This time also we want to return. This time we will do a different, little bit differently. We will say declare. and we want to declare a return underscore value and we also want it as integer now find return value integer and then how do we return but uh, one of the way we can return it is basically we run a select statement and then we get a value there so we can say select we need at the rate here also select at the rate return value equals to sum of quantity from sales and then we say return and let me do some indentation here and then we say return at the rate return value Now it is showing some error. We have to see why it's seeing. So create function quantity test item as integer, and returns int begin declare in a value to return, and that value we are taking select return value equals to sum of quantity from sales return at the rate, and the name is test quantity instead of test length. Let's see does it compile this time. So it successfully compiled. Sometimes the error could be misleading. Okay, so say select. text quantity okay and and see i am not considering that value which he has i have passed so i'm just giving any value now to so we have not given dbo schema name not function name let's try now it's giving is giving complete quantity the reason is because we have not used that at all the input value now let's go ahead and create a function where we are going to use it or maybe i need to test to teach you how to use alter so i'm just going to copy this and now i'm going to alter this code and to alter the function we use alter function the rest of the rem things remain same instead of create function we say alter function and we go here and we say so same alter function function name returns begin declare 
returns everything is same we just go ahead and write down here item underscore id equals to at the rate item so now we use the variable so now we are able to alter the function so let's see are we able to alter this remember this number 49913 that's what we were getting alter successfully completed now we are passing the item id 1 see we are got only getting 488 so now we are able to alter a function also now but we have learned one more thing that we can return a table also isn't it so can we instead of returning this 488 quantity can can we create a function basically which actually returns as the table itself so let's copy this one now we have copied this one after copying this let's say now this time i don't want to have written this thing all all these things can i simply in the begin itself i can i give a return here or can i give a return okay we say select star says where at the rate where item underscore id equals to at the rate item so how we are creating create function text sql item at the rate item as integer returns in returns table now returns table begin in the begin we are directly saying return star from sales where item id equal to at the rate item id and and then we have to say can this work like this okay okay let's see does it compile first of all okay so it's giving a error returns table it's giving error let's directly try to return it okay so it's able to return so we can write down a uh, within the parentheses we can write down a bigger return statement okay so now we are able to returning it by using this value so now is it going to work it like this or something different let's see it's not working now let's try select star from okay instead of this one because it's returning a table so we are able to see and now you can notice that 333 three, three rows are written okay don't compare with the sum of quantity sum of quantity could be different than number of rows one row might not have each row might not have one 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 value okay so now you know how to create a function scalar function and how to create a function which is a table function okay which returns a table so now table function is we have to use select star from or we can say select column from can i say select order number from here instead of calling everything isn't it order number yes i can do can i say sum of quantity Four eighty-eight, same number is coming. So it means we are able to do operations which we were doing in the table by now creating a function which returns as a table. Okay. So now we need to learn how to drop that. So we'll say drop function dbo dot. Let's drop the first function, and I'll take this code also with me. so that after that we'll execute and check whether it is dropped or not let's see does it required function or not it's executed and now it's giving error because we don't have that function we have already dropped it so you learned how to create it how to alter it how to drop it two different type of functions and their difference with the procedures and if you watch watch the last video on procedure you will be able to observe the differences you might have observed already the differences what you have seen in this video so go ahead and watch all the videos in this series in case you are coming new thanks for watching this video and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you